guys welcome to another Honda element video today I'm going to show you how to install uh, aftermarket stereo and uh, let me show you what I got it's a uh, you know brand I bought it in Amazon's use for around a hundred and sixty dollars new they go for around two hundred and twenty to two hundred and forty dollars and I do have one of these in my car. I really like it for the price. Both times I bought it used for $160. And I like it because it has a lot of things that you can plug into the stereo. And I will show you one of them, which is the TPMS sensor. So I like it because you can install each of these. Then every time you start your car, you can check the pressure the air pressure of each tire so since my car is a 2004 and the other one is a 2005 and it doesn't come with a tpms sensor then i think it's very useful to have especially when you're traveling a lot and the stereo is a uh, part number let me check it out ga2187 so that's the part number okay guys and let's see what is inside this box so inside the, this box we got the stereo what i like of this stereo also is that you can remove the screen and you can like move it around like up down left and right so that's the stereo i'm gonna put it by the side very carefully and that one also comes with a rear camera which I already have it installed in my other element and it comes with a OBD2 connector which is also nice because if the check engine light comes on or the car starts overheating you can see all those informations that are very handy very handy and you just download the map you just download the application on the stereo and then you can check all the status of your car so I'm gonna do also a video of that. I've been using it for a few months in my other element. And that's the reason why I buy this again. And all the wiring that you needed. And to make the job easier guys, I bought this. And I'm going to post a link of everything here. And this is from Red Wolf, bought it also in Amazon. So that is the information I'm going also to post it in the link so here is the wiring and inside here as you see it guys there is the tool that is going to make our trim removal very easy so let's go ahead and do that okay guys so you can always go from here and you can kind of very carefully pry as you see this one already pop out it's better to use this than a flat screwdriver because the flat screwdriver is going to damage our, our trim. There we go. And then you're going to see these four bolts. And those four bolts are very easy to remove by using a Phillips screwdriver. So let's go ahead and remove those four bolts. Pretty much those are going to be all the tools that you need. You don't really need any other tools. Unless you, we are going to install the camera. But we are just going to show how to install the stereo right now. And the TPMS sensor. And uh, OBD2 connector. And kind of give you an idea how everything works. I already removed the four bolts. And now we are going to remove the stereo. If you have a OEM stereo, it's pretty much the same, guys. There's not much difference. And then I'm going to unhook all the cables. And I will show you, like, what you are going to have, which connectors you are going to have original from the car, okay? All these connectors that you see, this is from this stereo. But once I remove it, I will explain you what are you going to have if you have an OEM connector so let's remove this after removing 
the other stereo guys you're just gonna end up with these connectors i do have this connector that i add for my subwoofer so i can still use the oem subwoofers and then it's still working with the and this is a wire that i installed by my own i did some wiring modification i do have a video about it how to install uh, the OEM amplifier to an aftermarket stereo so if you want to check out that video also I'm going to post a link about it and now what we're going to do is I'm going to open this one that I bought to make the installation really easy and first I'm gonna make sure that the aftermarket connector is going to fit or OEM connector and it does fit like a glove which is nice and if you see guys from this connector the orange one the orange one have to be cut a little bit because we are going to connect our cable for the lighting because if you don't connect the connector for the lighting for the illumination then the light won't work at night like for the buttons they have lights so it won't work so for that one you gotta connect the pink connector on the stereo and also if you follow the pink connector it says ILL I'm not sure if you guys can see that but sorry for this ill from illumination and that one is going to be connected to the orange wire okay guys so it's gonna be connected together and then the other parts just connect to the aftermarket stereo which is going to be this one i'm sorry this one right here so let's try it now let's connect this and there it is very simple now let's connect the pink one to the orange one and then we're gonna plug in on stereo so this is now connected guys as you see it here the pink cable that comes the pink cable that comes out from the connector on the stereo is connected to the orange one here and then the other cable that you have to connect is the blue one which is antenna it says blue antenna that is coming from this connector and is going to the existing connection which is also plug and play you don't have to do any taping or any cutting and that's pretty much it with the connectors so those connectors are very important because if you don't connect this one it's not gonna make any sound and if you don't connect the pink one you don't gonna have lights in the stereo when you turn on the headlights like at night time okay so that's it guys pretty easy the other ones you don't really need them unless you are doing other connections like an amplifier all this but what we are going to use later to make it more fun is going to be these two usb connectors one is says carplay and another one says usb we are going to use this one to connect to our iPhones, the other one to connect to our um, TPMS connectors, connection. And this is how it looks now. And of course, we have also this, which we have to connect. We have to run the cable around. It's not hard to do it, guys. This is the microphone. This is the connections to get the internet. And the other one is to get the GPS. So those ones, as you see the connections here, they do connect in these two ports. And you can see clearly here it says GPS. And the other one is going to be for the internet. And then for the microphone, it's just plug here. And then after doing that, guys, we are just going to install this bag, okay? What I like to do to run these ones are I run it from here and then I open the clock box as you see it in the video 
and then I just run it through there and then you can always put it like run it outside it's not hard to do it guys you will find a way how to run it once you are working in the car okay so let's install this back and then let's see how it works here are the connections for the gps and the internet so what i do is just i run it from there and then i grab it from that side and to install guys the microphone i also run the cable from here and i remove the fuse cover and i just pull it from there and as you see it i put it right here pretty easy to do so that way i can have the microphone and the other thing i forgot to tell you guys this one i have a video for this it's going to be connected to the one that is for the amplifier this one is the green one which says subwoofer guys so that's the one that i'm going to connect okay so i can have the subwoofer in here working from the old stereo guys we're going to remove these ones also the oem one has these ones okay one in each side so make sure you remove it and you install it in the new one so it can align properly with the holes here and now that everything is connected guys what i like of the stereo is that it won't cover or block i mean the vents so you still can get the air right now i just put it like that because i want to explain you how about right now i just left it like that but i'm, I'm going to put it back nicely and like I said, this one won't block the AC. You can remove this, you can tilt it. So when you turn around, it's going to look like that. And then the first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna scroll down like this, just like a phone. And then you're going to go to settings. And the first thing that you guys are going to do is you're going to look for settings right here. And then you're gonna go to the network and internet. And then you're going to connect to your internet you can be at home or in this case i'm connected by my phone from hotspot so i already installed my info then i go to the play store and of course they're gonna let you sign in in your gmail or google account i already did it and then i'm going to download the application youtube just to listen to some music watch videos make sure all this is working and then we are going to install the tpms and the obd2 reader which is right here that's how it looks inside which comes with all this when you buy the stereo now it's downloaded now it is downloading after installing uh, YouTube in the application guys I just want to make sure it works and it is working as you can see in the video and listen to the music very easy installation guys and now we are going to install the OBD2 in this stereo if you go to home it already comes the application for it so let me show you 